Hello. Yeah, uh, good news for me. I have found on uh, our uh, Willhaben, that's the platform where you can buy useless gear. It's like Greg's list. <laughs> yes. Uh, a red 4x12 Marshall box. Same red as, as him. Uh, from 1977. Yes, and now it's mine. Uh, it has the so-called Blackback speakers in it, which is uh, not really a different speaker. Uh, people say it's the same speaker and Gillespie was running out of green back things and put black inside. But it's a 1977 and that's always good, having different ages uh, of, of 25 waters. And it sounds really good. I have it uh, with a 57 uh, without any complicated setup because normally I try it again because it's, it has really uh, nice low end. I tried it with a, with the combination Roya 121 and 57, which is great. But for, uh, let's say, our tradition, uh, I have only the 57 and another new member of the family, uh, Schuhe, came along with, the, with, with a remake or a reissue of the uh, Unitine, which was the microphone before the SM57. And I said, why not? And it's also cool sounding. I'll show you later on. Uh, I make a, a switch. I have it in, on the same spot on the speaker, which is always where the cone meets the paper. And so it should be a, a fair uh, uh, comparison. Uh, what I recognized, it has a little bit more, or let's say quite a lot more, uh, treadle, high end, which is not bad. Uh, but we are used to the 57. And uh, yeah, let's listen. I, I, in the intro, I played it with my Kington Fuzz. And another battle I want to show you is uh, Albert Kasslader again was at work and, and built a new update of his uh, Paleon, which is a Kion type kind of battle, which sounds interesting. I'll show you also this in a minute. Okay, let's start with the Good old Dano Custer straight into the Marshall without anything. Okay, 
that's a, uh, that's how I would uh, turn on the clone, uh, which is more uh, uh, clean boost because the amp is still crunchy. But let's give it a little bit more gain every knob on noon. <laughs> Skin, uh, but it's cool. It's it's really very clone like. <laughs> what means clone is uh, clone like? It's a mid boost, uh, and there's another effect. You can put 10 clones or let's say two clones beside each other. Each other, they won't sound, they will sound different. So it's, uh, I'm not a, f a friend of comparing it. Uh, anyway, it's useless to, to think about buying a clone nowadays because, as you know, they want uh, up to 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 dollars which is crazy. So all these clone type pedals, you can get really good ones and the Balion is a good one, more, more or less for nothing. <laughs> Interesting. I show you now the Unitine. Let's. Uh, okay, I see. I'm recording both, so I have to do it afterwards. But now you hear the. Uh, or I also will hear the Unitine. Okay, that's the Unitine. <laughs> without anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
cool. Really cool microphone. Uh, I would say it depends. <coughs> Sorry. It depends on the sound you want to record. If some uh, sound maybe is too dull, it's the first choice. The first choice would be a microphone which uh, gives you a little bit more high treble, high presence. Uh, for, for me, normally a 57 has the right amount of presence boost, uh, which is for my ears perfect for any kind of rock guitar or let's say distorted amps and 4 by 12 cellisten like uh, speakers. But as we know, there are no rules. You can also use any any kind of of, of really high uh, quality condenser mics like we know from ACDC recordings. Okay, that's a really high-end microphone. I think they use this uh, very, very expensive U47, also the old new Neumann uh, tube mics, which is a little bit pricey. I don't have one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tom, Tom gets big ears. Why don't we have this microphone? <laughs> it's an ACDC microphone. Yeah, yeah we it's an ACDC microphone. We, we should think about it. You can begin to uh, save money, put money beside, because I think we, we are talking about 10,000 euro or something. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I also had good results with the new Austrian audio. If you want to try with a uh, condenser mic. Yo, okay, uh, lots of good, good stuff, very inspiring. And I hope uh, you get your vintage gear ready before investing in campers and XFXs. Nothing beats this. Okay, was a pleasure. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.